you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Calais Campbell able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. So after the sack, here, second and 14. From the gun, here's Newton. And the pressure gets to him again. So when you have good field position to start a drive and you give up back-to-back -back sacks, that can be demoralizing for a team. So now after the sack, Cam and the Patriots going to look up at a third and long. Well, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. They get 13, but it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. 13 on the play. It's fourth down. On fourth down, Newton going to throw deep for the end zone. And this is going to be incomplete. Or it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. So a top pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on four. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. On second down, a run with Dobbins. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Right back to Dobbins on first. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The ball carrier. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Now a handoff to Ingram, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. It's a couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Brandon Copeland charging hard from that linebacker spot, and he drops him for a loss of 11. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. From the gun, Jackson, and he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out, you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Patriots take over, and they're going to have terrific field position. Turnover on down. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. Second and ten, Newton again. Throw caught here by Bird. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. At the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Newton. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. 
He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play out of while you've got them rocked on their heels. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads them to victory. You have to get down and protect yourself and not take hits like that. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Intended. Quarterbacking 101. You never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. From 19 yards away. And the Patriots can take the lead with the extra point. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson. He'll buy some time right. He's going to take off with it. Number eight, Lamar Jackson on the keeper. It's a gain of four. And as big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Less than two minutes to play. Down to the wire we go in a one-point game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Dancing to his left. He may try and run for this. Jackson. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Raven first down. Throwing now is Jackson, eluding the pressure right. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Willie Sneed. Willie Sneed. 63 yards. And the Ravens have retaken the lead. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late. But now you've got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Their own 16-yard line.
New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Now the second down throw on target. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got a hustle. They got to get to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. On the give, this is Harris. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now it's Newton. He'll get this one out to Rex Burkhead. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 28. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Newton. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. So now after the sack, Cam and the Patriots going to look up at a third and long. Newton to throw. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off down at the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own 10-yard line. Spin the block around just like the hands on the clock. Come like a bat of the hell, I dare you to cross like a revenant. My energy paralyzed, I'm like a finger 11. Take a second, I'm finna send it like a pair in a mess. To the best, if it ain't me, then you need you a confession. You a mess. Uh huh, you ain't scary to me. I heard you was a leader, but that ain't a pair to me. Put dust on you like Cheetah, run up and I'm airing the scene. And I feel just like Vegeta Prince, and I'm an heir to the seat. I mean, for real. Test the driver's sauce so I don't even grab the wheel. That's a lot on my chest, but it don't mean the man is stealing. Man, I'm walking with some money, man, I mean a couple mil. <clears throat> You ain't even eating while I'm feasting in the field. That's why I'm always cheesing, cause I feel like Uncle Phil. And all this loose thing, the freshman ain't half the man as well. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hands on the clock. You like the hands on the clock, I go back to bat when I'm doing numbers. All the mad that I'm driving the bus, so they threw me under. Heard they mad they don't wanna bust, so they boo each other. Think that they're the winning team, go losing, then they choose another. And that's okay, cause I'm competing with me, not you. I live with blessings like I can't stop sneezing, not you. Well, I hate to break above me and myself, top two. I blow away the competition like a ball of hot sauce. And there's no catch. I go and get the bag, and I'm not bringing it back. I'm like a down QB. I put the pain in the past. And if you ever had a problem, promise I didn't ask. So it's 444 in the car, my dash. I shake a big toy to mall. You went first, you last. Little boy, that's facts. I'm gonna grow that cash to my money. <laughs> you know what? Let me stop. <laughs> Jeez. 
too bad, Gabby. Hey, boy, and be so you gotta yeah. go berserk. 